again, I am not against immunization. I'm saying that let's do immunization, but do it correctly. Also in those countries who do not do immunization, and the numbers you, which you are quoting may be correct. They should be immunized, but they should be immunized correctly, not, you know, three or five different viral antigens at the same time. So, so you agree that um, an unvaccinated population would be more so under constant th threat of these kind of uh, widespread epidemics that we used to oh, see? Oh, that's correct. Let's, let's say if a child right now is in a kindergarten and was immunized or was not immunized, suddenly is getting measles uh, infection and goes to school, uh, the other children will be uh, in danger of developing the disease because I did demonstrate to you that not every child which has been immunized is having enough or high levels of antibodies to be protected against that. And that's why from time to time we see even, you know, in Los Angeles, I have seen that children are developing measles. So it would probably be in our interest to just clean up the vaccines and make sure people are actually Exactly. That's, that's really my hope. If really the, the, the overall message from my you know, uh, interview today is that I'm not against immunization. Let's do the immunization, but first make sure the child's immune system is mature enough that it can handle it. If, if not, then you have to postpone it until the immune system is mature and then do the immunization. But meanwhile, the, the entire uh, fabrication procedure of vaccines should probably be a little bit revised. Yeah, right, absolutely. And then pediatricians also should have some way of to do follow-ups. You did immunization, make sure the child made antibodies against the vaccine. That's a, you know, a test. They can do it in every laboratory right now and they can measure uh, antibodies, production of antibodies against it. So, so, um, so, you know, the problem is this, that pediatricians are doing the immunizations. They don't follow the child to see if the child made ample amount of antibodies in order to be protected or protected against the disease in the future. To do that is a simple blood test. Just remove a few drops of blood, send it to a laboratory, and ask for hepatitis B antibodies, ask for measles, mumps, and rubella antibodies. Two, three months after given uh, uh, the immunization, you can draw blood and check for that. If the antibodies are produced, then the child is protected. If it's not produced in ample amount, maybe you need to repeat the immunization. So it should be a way to do a follow-up. That's really the message, which pediatricians are not doing it, doing it right now, and they should do that.